We are looking into a scary story spreading around on social media. Women are posting claims about encounters with a Bible study group and a possible connection to the sex industry. But is this true? Tonight, NBC Charlotte's Rachel Lemberg is verifying what's fact and what's fiction. Is a religious group that's working outside Charlotte's stores really the front for a sex trafficking ring? That's what these posts from Empower CLT claim. They go into detail warning women to stay away from nicely dressed women who approach you in public places wanting to speak about God. The posts say these women are using the Bible to draw you in, describing encounters at the North Lake Mall and Rivergate Shopping Center Target. The key word, God the Mother, a phrase they say is linked to sex trafficking rings. So is this real? Real. Our sources are CMPD, the police department at the College of New Jersey, and social media posts from 2018. So it turns out that God the Mother has actually popped up in social media posts quite a bit. Here it is in Lexington, Kentucky, and here at a college in New Jersey. In both cases, local police found no evidence of sex trafficking connected to these posts and said they're false. Back here in Charlotte, CMPD did confirm that they've heard of these posts before, and they have had reports of contacts from the group occurring in our our area, but there has been no evidence of any human trafficking cases. If you dig further, the phrase God the Mother is linked to the World Mission Society Church of God. It's a Korean church with campuses across the country, including right here in Charlotte. The church has released a statement in the past saying that these targets online are just rumors. Bottom line, there's no evidence to prove that these claims are true. So maybe think twice before sharing this kind of stuff on social media. I mean, the fact is it is freaky and a bit concerning. Tammy Harris, the founder and executive director of the Ursus Institute, which is a local nonprofit fighting human trafficking and helping survivors, says she's very familiar and aware of these stories. So there's nothing wrong with being extra careful. With your Verify, I'm Rachel Lundberg, NBC Charlotte.